I mean, God, I wish Nintendo would just release, like, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker on Switch already. Like, please. Well, Riley, Riley, old games don't sell. I mean, I could also play it on my Steam Deck, but I'd rather (laughs) be... Yeah. Also, Riley? Yeah? You're expecting Nintendo to make things easy? They have one of the most well-known library of games ever assembled, but they do not release the ones past a certain point. Again, you expect Nintendo to make things easy? No, I just wish they would. All of us well, wish I they actually would. Ne- I actually like, need a call tonight, so I'll leave you to whatever you plan on doing next in the game, Golden. Alright then. Laters! Yep, bye. Have a good night. Good night. No, I, like I mean, like one of the reasons I got the Steam Deck is I was just so I'm just so sick of Nintendo's bullshit with some of their shit. Like raising the price of Tears of the Kingdom to seventy bucks, the fucking Joy-Con drift, like their their piss ass online service that were like if you pl- try and play Splatoon three, you're gonna be kicked out at least. Ah, uh, let's see. Half of the time, you'll probably get a crash and have to restart a lobby if you're trying to play with friends. And it's like, that's on a good day. Because that service sucks ass. Yeah. Yeah. Another example of me just getting tired of Nintendo was when somebody was... Remember when someone tried to do a tribute to Etika by releasing uh, Joy-Cons that were... Yeah. That had Etika's emblem? Well, apparently Nintendo barged in and was like, nope! Copyright. That's you know, cease and desist. Cease and desist. That's copyright. They are the biggest copyright hounds of any corporation. Mm-hmm. And it all comes down to the old guard and old thinking of the people at the top. That's some, the unfortunate yeah. part. It's it, not yeah. like. It also I mean, remember doesn't... Japan. Uh, Japan doesn't have the same kind of copyright laws that we do. So yeah, they, they don't, don't have fair use, way. and I don't know why. It's. It's sort of similar, I guess, over here with Mexico as well, because I've noticed that when it comes with Mexico, they literally will be, like, people will have their own businesses, and they'll use copyright characters for their branding. And yet, somehow, no company will be like, oh, that's copyright! God damn it! I mean, did you hear what they did to the guy, that that Bowser guy? Mm. Where he's basically fucked for life. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What happened with him? Uh, um, so he was trying to sell like emulators and shit. Like, yeah, oh! not great, not great stuff already. But like, he went to jail for like I think six months or so, and now he owes Nintendo about mm, ten million million dollars. Ten million. Oh, that was worse than I thought. Jesus Christ! So he's going to have to give up like basically a third of his paycheck for the rest of his life. That is infuriating. Like, I'm not saying he shouldn't be in trouble and and do some time or some shit, but god damn. That guy is just fucked. (sighs) Nintendo, fucking everybody over as long as they get a piece of that paycheck. No one likes Nintendo. I mean, they originally had ties to the Japanese Yakuza, so I'm not surprised. Does it surprise me, to be honest? I mean, they started out in Hanafuda cards, which is basically gambling in Japan and stuff. Mm. I mean, again, doesn't surprise me. Also, Pope's Jesse. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo is like Disney to me, where they are so par- equally parts frustrating, but they have me by the balls with their what they create. Yeah, <laughs> because it's it's like they have ta- they definitely have potential, and we see that potential. But the problem is the company still lingers on pa- on old past mentality and can't just grow up from it. They refuse to. They don't want to adapt. They want to take advantage of people. They're like, we are Nintendo. We don't care. Didn't they, like, take down uh, an emulator that... No, there there was going to be a port 
on the fucking Commodore 64, I think, that they took down. Why? Nobody, they weren't going to make any... It's a Commodore 64, it's a 30-year-old machine. Who's going to fuck... I mean... I, I can't even... I don't know. God, I remember Commodore. Commodore was a big mist. Commodore was a thing. I remember it just vaguely from my like early childhood when I was like a toddler or I don't know when I, four years old. The black mm -hmm. screen and having to type in and put in the floppy disk and all that. <laughs> but I didn't really get big into PC gaming until I got well, my own PC. Other than right. that, I played Warcraft 2 or, like, other PC games my dad would let me play. Hmm. Interesting. Microsoft treats us Xbox One players with honor and respect because they love us. Um... <laughs> I, was thinking, <laughs> no, I was thinking Valve. Like, Valve has something going with it, but... Well, and even uh, then... And Valve even has... Then, yeah. And even then, Valve has, um... Their own issues, mainly the fact that they refuse to just work on games again. I get it; the Steam is doing very well for them. But the thing that everybody, re but the problem is, most of their games are still open ended with a lot more material to make, and they I, refuse to do something about it. I do think that they are starting to change that in recent years, though. I think with the like introduction so. of. Well, I think with the Epic Games Store becoming a big threat to them on the uh, PC game market... They're gonna get off their ass? Yeah, like... Yeah. Ugh, God, Half-Life Alex. I need to play fucking more of that game, but that is one of the best VR games I have ever played, and it is so immersive. And if that's, like... If they could create I, more VR games like that, like, holy shit, not, VR would just become more than just a niche hobby for some people. I think the other factor is that with Half-Life Alex, that proved to people that not only can Valve, you know, transition into the new era of games, but that they still have a, you know, still have a, you know, like, little bit of a touch for it. But not to mention, and some people have been speculating because of that game, although to be kind of, and I know that some people probably are very given up hope on it at this point. But some people believe that with them making Half-Life Alex, that could possibly be finally Valve going, <sighs> You guys want Half-Life 3? Yes! No, I, I'm not I don't I'm not even gonna say the name because at this point I I don't I don't care. If it does become a thing, sure. I'm not gonna hold out any hope. I'm not gonna like well, Everybody hasn't held out for hope for them for, for that thing for years. But then again, nobody expected them to make a new game after a long time, so... Mm. And plus, people can surprise you. I mean, nobody expected Valve to make a new game. Nobody expected the Mario movie to become a hit. Nobody expected Tool to actually release their newest album. After 13 years. After 13 fucking years of waiting! Nobody expected your favorite Martian to come back. That too! <laughs> Remember when everybody was constantly waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 4. Well, I know there's a fourth Kingdom Hearts. I haven't heard back from that in a while. Yeah, although there I was think a thing maybe... last year, but they did say that it, there's going to be a shorter development, uh, or at least a shorter wait time this time. Yeah, because... we're not going to wait 13 years for Kingdom Hearts 4. Hold Man. On, guys, hold on, hold on. Yep. 20 years later. Are they still <laughs> making Kingdom Hearts 4? Dude, that's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> what? You young whippersnappers in your Xbox 594. Alright, Riley, time to take your medication. <laughs> I took my medications, dagnabbit. No, oh, nobody expected the Foo Fighters trumpet to pass away. There's a lot of rock stars who I didn't expect to pass away. Oh, yeah, Andy, who's that guy recently from the Smiths? Uh, Andy Rourke. Um, he was their bass player. And uh. the sad thing about Andy Rourke's passing is that even though many fans, you know, already had come to terms with that whole situation, his death has permanently killed off any idea of the Smiths ever having a reunion. Because for many years, fans had, wait, had at least made jokes about the Smiths reuniting, or at least never reuniting, because Johnny Marr and Morrissey really hated each other, 
even though even though Maury say it's just a lecherous piece of shit who deserves to be punched in the face. But mm-hmm. Andy Rourke's passing has just basically killed off, it off any, yeah, killed off any idea of a reunion ever happening. And, and that's really fucking sad. And, there's been like equal parts disappointments and surprises, like with all these things being canceled by all these streaming services, shit being pulled away, content being like cut. It's like. <sighs> it's just it's so frustrating it's hard to get invested it's like it's the culture that the streaming services have made at this point it's hard to get yeah. invested in, in series yeah it's like what's the point of me getting invested in a show that they're promoting on a streaming service and they're just gonna be like oh yeah we cancelled it for like an arbitrary reason yeah it's, it's, it's like I I still feel bad for people who are into shows like Inside Job, 1899. Inside um, Job was so fucking Inside good, Inside Job man. looked promising. 1899 was a very, like, it felt like it was going to go places. And, God, I can't even imagine other shows that Netflix and, like, HBO Max and all the other shit just up and canceled for dumb <laughs> reasons. Or in the case of HBO Max, <laughs> David Zavala just going... <laughs> Nah, I'm not interested. I want to save, like, $5 more. Okay, thanks, bye. Or in Netflix's case, we love animation! Proceeds to nuke half of their entire animation company. I was yep. so pissed when they canceled Inside Job, man. You can't even imagine. that. I, I love that shit. Inside I, Job is my shit. I basically was watching 1899, like, midway. I didn't get the chance to watch it when it came out because I just had to push myself to get invested into it. But then I got very pissed off when I heard Netflix just go, yeah, I know that you guys are doing pretty good, and I know that you guys did the show Dark and how very successful that show was, but cancelled. Oh, but, oh yeah. no, but they happily pushed the shit out of fucking um, Big Mouth, and even that show has finally been given the boot. That show was already ugly to begin with. Mm, I mean, it's always been ugly, so... Yeah. Hi, Kitty! Kitty! Oh. Hello. Hello. I thought Hello. I would pop in and say hi, because I haven't been in a voice chat. In a hot minute. In a hot minute. Oh, I've been... It's all... I'll give you the TLDR. I've been working quite a bit. It keeps calling off, and I took the extra hours to get over to $4 an hour. I said, hmm. Jake. And the coworker that called off almost four times did not do half of their work. So I'm fucking exhausted. Oh, I feel that mood. I feel that fucking mood. You sound it. You know. <laughs> Having to do somebody else's I, work because they're not getting their shit together. Ain't it's not even mood. that. It's like we have people that like to uh, one person is really handy. Cap. He's a very sweet guy, but his his disabilities and his mental demons torment him. Poor thing. So I can't really hold too much to okay, him. I know, fair. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. There's a there's a clerk I know who also works at the store, uh, at my store, and he's also um, he's physically um, yeah he's physically undeveloped. He's physically disabled. Um, um, but I right. give, I give him with like the most respect as I can, and he does his job well. Yeah, um, yeah, it's sort it's sort of similar with a coworker of mine that we recently got. My my produce lead and my other produce, like former produce lead, kind of give him a lot of a hard time. But he re- he kept, but everyone kept telling me, "Oh, well, he has a condition that's kind of limiting him from doing a lot of work." And afterwards, he actually talked to me privately because he was pretty bummed out about it, and he revealed that his condition is lupus. Oh, so, Jesus. oh shit. Hey. Yeah, so it's already pretty rough for him to do produce as much as he can with lupus kind of dis. I forget what lupus works. exactly is. I've heard of it, and I know it's bad, but I forget what exactly it is. Um, I think it's sir. I guess it's like a motor dysfunction um, disability, where it slowly kind of makes it impossible for you to control your body. Oh, uh, I understand. Yeah, and it could, and it's it could like, also kill is you. Is it kind of? So, is it kind of like Parkinson's? With, uh, yeah, that's what I was asking. It sounds like Parkinson's disease. I think or multiple it's sclerosis. 
I think it's probably something like multiple sclerosis, but yeah, he yeah. has that condition. Because I had a family dude. member with multiple sclerosis, yeah. and she spent like years in a wheelchair, and sadly, she finally. Yeah. yeah. I, I try not to give him that much grief because he does try to do his job. It's just that he tends to forget to do certain things, and he kind of takes a long time in the wet rack. But considering his condition, I don't blame him. And not to mention, unlike my other other coworker who kind of throws a tantrum if he if he sees you out of line for like five seconds he at least he's at he at least is very calm and relaxed he just gets stressed out when everyone's like hey you need to hurry up in this i'm like he kind of can't he has lupus you know there's been some times when like there's been some bad faith in my store like because when i started working the evening shift multiple times i was assigned to the uh like collecting carts at the parking lot which i didn't mind doing because i at least didn't have to deal with customers i just had to deal with people getting in the way all the time but uh, on the contrary uh there was like there was some stupid rumor spreading uh, around that I'm one like, of the co-workers refused to go out because like because it was a hot day and she didn't want her makeup to melt or something like that and i'm like why are you wearing makeup at work but then somebody else clarified it with i wear make and it, well hold on the actual reason okay. somebody somebody clarified with me the real reason she has a serious heart condition. Oh, uh, uh, I was. Um, gonna, I wear heavy ass makeup at work. In the background, like a lot of physical labor. I guess it just depends no. on the person. So, so it's like, oh yeah, it, it just seemed like it just seemed like bad faith that somebody said, oh, they don't want to look ugly by stepping in the sunlight. It's like. That's you're kind of making it a petty reason when there's actually a serious condition. Going um, there, you know? yeah, I'm hideous. I, I think maybe people just don't want to like burden with personal problems or issues, making and mm -hmm. thus party on. You are cutting out a couple of times. Yeah, you're cutting, yeah, you're out. cutting out a lot. Out of you're like at at at. Flip flip flip. Is this better? Yes. Well, I heard yeah. that. I said, uh, it's possibly the reason maybe some people don't want others to pity on them, treat them, like, with baby gloves. I mean, that could also be fair, but... Yeah. Like, I get it. I've, I've grown up with, like, autism, and I've always hated either being, like, people harshly judging me or being in infantilizing me. You know? Infantilizing? Yeah. Basically putting, making him it feel like a child. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I bet yeah. in there. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I guess when you're in a relationship, different yeah, because you kind of baby each other, but like, you know. <laughs> well, don't you guys don't, don't you guys ask for back reps, boyfriends <laughs> and girlfriends and lovers? Because mine does. Oh, Rustic is a no. good boy. <laughs> he he, he wants he likes the rubbies. Oh, back I'm now, rub. I'm now just imagining him being like a dog, just laying on his back. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So one time, I all, like okay. So sometimes if I'm like you know not tired and he's in bed, he'll wiggle his feet at me and he'll ask, says, "Can I have a foot rubby?" <laughs> Oh, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure, I guess. It's like, thank you. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's precious. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a very sh underneath all that tough exterior. 